Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. On our website, you'll find pricing information, vehicle inf information, vehicle photos, as well as a free Carfax. Click the Carfax Advantage dealer icon or the Carfax uh, one owner icon, depending upon the vehicle, on our website to view the free Carfax. 952-540-9000 is our phone number. Give us a call to ask any questions or to set up an appointment. We are by appointment only, so please do call in advance. We appreciate that. All of our vehicles go to third party shops for inspections, safety mechanical and road test inspections are performed. We do that for safety mechanical and maintenance repairs the shop recommends we bring it to you. You're welcome to have an inspector prior to buying it as well. Just ask us about our policy on that. Lastly, aftermarket warranties are available on all vehicles, no matter the year, make, model or miles. Ask us about those or it'll be stapled to the Carfax when you come in. We have this beautiful 1997 Ford Explorer. I believe it's an XLT if I'm not mistaken. It's got dual power seats, so I'd assume so. Um, this thing is from California. It spent most of its life in Oregon and then spent some of its life in California. If you're familiar with either of those states, they do not have rust so uh, or road salt or anything like that. So this thing is super clean. Um, this platform, the 4.0 platform in this, um, I have a friend who drove one up to 380,000 miles. Um, they run for a really long time. They're pretty, pretty reliable. So much more reliable than the modern Ford, unfortunately. So anyways, let's start in the front here. Front headlights are in beautiful shape. Actually the bumper plastics in good condition. The Chrome looks to be in good condition as well. Grill's in great shape. Uh, the hood is in good condition as well. There's a couple little, little nicks here and there. There's also a lot of pollen because it's really, really windy today. So, um, don't believe there's any rock chips probably, I would assume, because it's got this thing. Um, though it's kind of hard to see, so there's just some dirt buildup under there that detail didn't get. Uh, this fender's in really nice shape. It does not have Firestone tires, so don't worry about that. Um, it has some all-season tires on it that have good tread depth. Body's in pretty good shape. I mean, it's got some minor little scuffs and scratches and that sort of thing here and there. Um, but overall, it's pretty clean. A couple little scratches there and there. Uh, roof looks to be in good shape. It's got the roof rack with the cross rails. So, this quarter's in good shape. I got a PDR guy who's got to take that little ding out there that'll come out really nice, so not too worried about that. Um, wheels are all in beautiful shape, obviously. It's from California, so you don't get the uh, road salt that corrodes the aluminum wheels. This one does have a trailer hitch. It is an XLT. It is also four wheel drive. Uh, back gate's in really nice shape. Back bumper's in pretty immaculate condition. So this quarter looks to be in good shape as well. This wheel's in nice condition. Of course, there's no rust anywhere on this thing. It's super clean. And tire tread depth is good. As you can see, door bottoms, rockers, everything super clean. So, looks pretty good underneath here. Door panels are good in good shape. The interior is in super nice condition. Um, there's almost no wear on the cloth or the dash or anything like that. Um, super clean, carpet's in good shape. It's a non-smoker vehicle, no pets that I can tell. I didn't see any pet hair or anything. Actually came in fairly clean too. We still had it detailed, of course, but um, door panels are in great shape. Obviously all the door bottoms, dog leg there, uh, rust free. So back seat's in beautiful shape. As you can see, it did fold down. You have full access to this area. I suppose this was an option on these to plug in your headphones. You could change the uh, radio station so you don't have to listen to the same one as mom and dad, I suppose. Straight in the back side here. Again, this thing is clean, clean. So it does have factory floor mats back here. This is a dash cover. A lot of people in warm climates throw this over the dash so that it doesn't get cracked and everything. Um, so that was nice of them to do that because it saved the dash. Headliner is in nice shape on this one too. Uh, good 
looking. This uh, door panel here is in nice shape. Or door panel, this rocker, rather. And the uh, underside is super clean. Look at the floor. It's a pretty nice example of a explorer of this generation. They do not make them like this anymore. So driver's door panel is in beautiful shape. Driver's seat's in good condition. It's not even worn along the edge or the side bolster. As I mentioned, they are power, so they power slide back and forth, up and down. Uh, I believe it does have power lumbar as well. Yep, sure does. Um, and then this is the backrest that adjusts the backrest. So, hop in here and start it up. I believe this one does have two keys. It does have keyless entry too. Make sure we get the ignition key, not the door lock key. Um, so, obviously the AC works. It's blasting right now. Uh, the odometer reads 114.861. Um, no lights on the dash other than the seatbelt light because I'm not wearing it currently. Uh, the gauges all look good with it up to temperature. Dash is in good shape. Um, this one has auto four wheel drive apparently and it has four high and four low. Uh, the radio works as it should. All the speakers sound good, so that's always a plus. Uh, rear wiper located here. Uh, it does have, as I mentioned, the AC's working, the heat works. Um, these are fog lamps right here. Let's check what we got in the glove box. We do have factory owner's manual in here, along with some other books, it looks like. It's kind of neat. The uh, center console's in really nice shape on this one. I uh, don't really see any imperfections jump out at me and there's a bunch of space in there. This one does have the overhead console with exterior temperature and compass. And then your garage door opener can go in here. It does have the overdrive off for towing trailers and that sort of thing. The uh, steering wheel is overall in pretty good shape. It's a little soft on the top, but it's all intact, not ripped or anything. So that's nice. Cruise control located here. Uh, wipers are down here, it does have power windows, power locks, keyless entry, power mirrors, which are located here. Headlamps are over here, dimmer switch, of course. So I think that's about it on the interior. Let's hop out, I'll show you under the hood here. Hood release is right down here, you just pull that towards you. We shall see if I can do this one-handed. I might have to set the phone down. I have to set it down. It's just kind of tricky to pull up on the hood and pull the lever at the same time. So my phone does pick up small engine valve train noise, belt noise, fan noise more than the human ear does. So sometimes it's a little noisier on this video than it actually is in person. However, this one is super quiet. Um, yeah, it's very clean under here. Obviously there's no rust. Under the hood's nice and clean too. Another good spot to check. So, close the hood here and that is the Ford Explorer. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website, 411carline.com or give us a call 952-540-9000. Thanks for your time today. Have a great day.